Hey everyone, the great Dana Ranger here again back with another Jurassic World video. Today I am super excited to review this special dinosaur. It is from Jurassic World and is part of the Wave 2 line. And of course you're wondering what is up with this new table and uh, this desk I'm filming on. I will explain it in another video or at least you'll see it explained in another video. Right now let's just get to the special review where you're taking a look at the uh, Wave 2 Jurassic World Roarivores Ceratosaurus by Mattel. And I'm just going to say I'm super excited when my family went out to um, Target because uh, my local tar Target they went there and uh, well surprisingly they found a lot of stuff that I didn't even expect like for one they found uh, let's even get a picture of it they found obviously Ceratosaurus uh, the Pteranodon and the Ankylosaurus at the same time so I didn't know which one to pick so they they, they picked for me and it's the Ceratosaurus so I'm really happy and I do apologize if the camera is kind of wonky that's just because of the lighting and it's not daylight outside so let's get going by opening this monster out I'm using little baby scissors this is the only ones I have up here forgot to get the ones downstairs in the kitchen but at least they still open Okay, easy peasy, and then the tail can just slip right out, I'm pretty sure, I think, hopefully. Set the scissors down. It's actually kind of in there pretty good, actually. Alright, so I tore the package opening just to get this thing out. And now it comes out. Um, before we get to the actual animal itself, let's take a look at the packaging real quick. This is the first of the my Wave 2 Roarivores. So we got Ceratosaurus, uh, the awesome picture of Blue and Owen, Jurassic World, the awesome volcano exploding in the background, Ceratosaurus showing that it... Um, Oops, it's not focusing. Showing that it can chomp uh, with the little arrows that I show there. Then on this side, just waiting for it to focus. Come on, come on, focus. This happens in like all my videos. Let's see, maybe if I just bring it up close. Yeah, there we go. See? Jurassic World. Then we got the Rovers Triceratops, which I have. The Tranon and Kylosaurus, which they saw at Target, which I will be getting eventually, hopefully. And the awesome picture of the Ceratosaurus with its chopping mechanism and that it makes sound. And the Jurassic Facts app. And right here it says Jurassic World also. Alright, so without further ado, let's actually get going with the actual dinosaur. So, here we got the dinosaur. Obviously, you cannot stand with the tail on. So, you just take the tail here, simple, and it has little um, directions on the inside of where you put it. Simple. It's, so, it's really easy to snap in. And now we got our monstrous ceratosaurus. Now, this thing is awesome. I don't. I don't even know what to say. It's the perfect Stratosaurus. I think it's much better, 100%, much better than the Hasbro Stratosaurus. I think when I saw that one, I was like, oh, they're making Stratosaurus. That's nice. I need that one. It looks so good. I take that back. This one's actually pretty good, too. Actually, why did I say that? I mean, it's much better. So, first impressions, it is awesome. I'm pretty sure I already went, went over that. Um, but... The head is just like what the Stratosaurus looks like. Everything about it is amazing. And it's kind of hard to see with my camera, but 
there's a bunch of scale scale detail all over the body. I mean, all over. Mattel has really outdone it. They've done an absolute fantastic job um, working on all these dinosaurs. And my camera's not focusing again, so I do apologize for that. There we go. And I guess the the way I hold this figure really makes me happy because it's just like it's an actual Jurassic Park toy. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying, so I'm super excited. And see on the feet we got the logo and then the Jurassic Facts app if any of you guys are interested. I know I am, but I already got it like a couple months ago. Uh, but the coloration is just like the one in the movie. Well, in Jurassic Park 3. I don't think we'll be seeing this guy again, though, sadly. It would only just... It's now extinct. But articulation-wise, the hands can only move... Mine can actually move all the way around. Wow. And then they can move up like that. So just the normal classic articulation of the arms. The legs can move. Yeah, mine can move all the way around. Except this way. Well, yeah, no, that way too. And then, same with this leg. This one can go all the way around. And then, um, there. It does have the little swivel or pivots in the hips. And these ones, oh, whoa, these are actually much wider than I expected. Um, not something I've seen in my other, uh, Warvors or dinosaurs and first time in forever there's a uh, actually um, articulation sort of on the tail might only go from this way and then if you turn well actually it can go all the way around that's cool really neat and I love the coloration with the black and the almost like the lightest tan and the red it really works good and how the face is just all red. It makes it all menacing and evil looking. This is awesome. If I ever get to the point of making more Jurassic movies. Which I'm trying to find a software that can actually be able to do that. Because mine right now kind of has difficulties. I'm trying to actually do that. But this guy will be featured in it. So. But yeah I'm really happy with this one. Now. And now the moment you all been waiting for. The sound effects. There's a button. It's just right here. And the mouth chomps, and we can also listen to the roars too. That was a, that was a cool one. And the normal T Rex roar, which is somehow really common in this in the Jurassic Park Ceratosaurus. That looks like chomping. Yeah, I think it has like about like four or maybe four, yeah, four different sound effects. They're all pretty unique to this dinosaur, I'd say. Though the sounds we never really got to hear in Jurassic Park. The Ellie heard is a bunch of snorts and grunts and growls. Never got to hear it roar, so this is as good as we're going to get, honestly. And it actually stands pretty well. That's because it has its tail on. So we're going to size compare this animal with some... Uh, with some uh, uh, other uh, roarvors that I have. And actually, this guy is kind of hard to stand. Actually, if I can get it right, just about right. At least that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, well I'm just gonna have to hold it for the most part. But let's take a look at humans first. We got our trusty Kenner, Dr. Alan Grant, right there. And it's a uh, Sarasaurus is a little too small next to him. You know, it's like a recreation of the scene. But he's a Kenner figure, so he's large. And then we get the normal um, figures by Mattel, and this is actually works pretty nice. Eat him. Okay, <laughs> and then now we're gonna compare it with the one dinosaur that's not. Auroravore that I'll compare it to that some people kind of get mixed up for with this one is the Carnotaurus 
And I know you're wondering where all these white, or at least it's white on my camera, but pink in my perspective, it's because I custom painted it. And I'll show you when I actually get to the review of this Carnotaurus. So next, Rovor, hey, I got it to stand up. These are the Rovor Triceratops. They scale pretty nice together. Let's see if I can pull this back just a little bit. Yeah, pretty nice. Cool battles with that. And then my favorite dinosaur, the Gorionyx, which is also custom painted. Yep. I guess all the Rovors are actually pretty much the same size next to each other. I just like to compare all of them. Then we got Metricanthosaurus. All these dinosaurs I'm showing you will end up being getting their own re review. So you just have to kind of hold on tight if you want to see one. And then my custom painted Allosaurus. Yeah. Pretty good size. So that was my pretty awesome review of the Mattel Roarvore Wave 2 Ceratosaurus. I hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys again in another review, which should be some of my last attack pack dinosaurs. And so yeah, see you later guys.